It's my anniversary. I have been on YouTube for a year tomorrow because I could not wait until October 1 to put out my very first Halloween Manny. So today I'm going to do some anniversary flowers for myself and I wanted to show you a different little selection of rose plates that I have. We are going to use the lattice on the upper right hand corner of the Maniology M162 and we are going to use this very cool, very much I bought it for Halloween and couldn't wait to use it, clear jelly stamping plate. I believe this one is a newer one, just came out. Here are some of the designs that you can make with it. Um, really like this one, had a lot of fun with it. We are gonna start off with a peel off base coat, shocker. And we are gonna use a matte top coat. This is a homemade jelly that I made with wet and wild polishes. I took black and dropped it in clear. It took about 30 drops, maybe 40 drops to get it to the consistency that I wanted for this. I cannot believe I've been doing this for a year already. It's crazy. I wanted to uh, launch my channel with these awesome Halloween manicures last year. And I went to make a compilation video for this year and was like, wow, those were really bad. <laughs> Some bad angle problems and things like that that are much better now. I'm much happier with how my videos look now. And speaking of, I just upgraded to a new editing system. Do you notice a difference? Do you notice? Do you notice? Let me know what you think. So I'm going to do two coats of this homemade black jelly that I made and as you can see it's just barely there and I don't know what those stains are under my nails. I scrubbed at them with acetone. I it looks like I ate a trough of spaghetti. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I promise I tried to get it out of there. I have no idea. Truly no idea what it is. So I got some kind of little stain on my nails. Uh, I am going to go through, I decided to do the ring finger all in black and then I'm going to do a black French tip across the rest of the nails to help hide whatever weirdo stain that is on my nails. Because you know, sheer jelly polishes don't look that great when it looks like you have, you know, Cheetos living under your nails. Ooh, it could have been che no, it wasn't Cheetos. I did have a problem with Cheetos though about a week ago. Crunchy ones, crunchy ones, and not that jalapeno crap. Just crunchy Cheetos. Anyway, why am I talking about Cheetos? So I'm gonna use the <laughs> latex peel off squirrel um, and go around and under the front of the nail. I always do that. I'm not sure if I always show that I always go kind of underneath the tip of the nail because a lot of times when you press down on the stamper, it will touch the tip of your finger too. Gonna grab Greyjoy from Maniology and we're gonna do the lattice in the background. I wanted this to look kind of like a could be Halloween, but not really Halloween, but could be maybe like if you wanted to go a little darker, a little gothy kind of for Halloween, you could do something like this and wear it to work and I don't think anybody would complain about it. Oh, there's probably some jerk who would. Can we talk about that? Why is it in offices that we can't have crazy hair? Some people don't let us have crazy nails. I mean, I'm not talking hospitals where you're not even allowed to wear polish. I just mean in general. Like, God forbid somebody have some individuality. You're going to go ahead and stamp that lattice across the three nails with the French tip on it. And I don't think I showed this, but I did go back in and redo the French tip again over it. Um, I had thought about leaving it the other way and decided not to. I'm going to grab this rose with Gold Rush. Notice I changed from the clear jelly stamper to my monocle stamper. The monocle stamper, I feel like, does a lot better picking up really tricky, detailed designs. So I always see people asking this question in the groups <laughs> and any stamping group that I'm in. They're like, what stamper is the best stamper? That's not the right question. The correct question is, which stamper is the right stamper for what I'm doing right now? That's the correct question. So if you're not able to use clear jelly, you may not be using it on a design that's great for it. It seems to be really good at picking up um, negative space images but not so great at like straight lines or really, really detailed stuff. 
And I'm not saying nobody can get detailed stuff with it because I have as well. It just depends on the design, I think. That one came up easier with the Maniology monocle. It's a little more sticky. And it could just have to do with your style of stamping. Now right there, I was just going back in to try to line it up because it looks like Alaska. And I needed to make sure that Alaska was turned the right way so that when I put this base down, I could line the, la the top layer on top of it. I'm going to go through and take off this. And if you look down at the nails where the French tip part is, you can kind of see a line on the roses because the French tip was thicker than the background. So what I'm going to do to make that even before I put the final stamp on top is I'm gonna just going to go through and clear coat everything so it will kind of level itself out. And I should be able to quite easily stamp the top on and not have that line show up. Now one of the things I didn't expect after I stamped this was that the bottom would kind of look purpley and shadowed, but I like it. And I do have to tell you, just in my opinion, these are pretty shiny or matte. Like really pretty. And you see what I mean? Like they're elegant, but you could definitely call these Halloween nails too. And for Halloween this year, I am going to do a whole week of more elegant Halloween nails. I know a lot of people don't like the creepy, scary stuff. And honestly, like, I don't really like to wear the creepy, scary stuff. I like to kind of wear cute or pretty Halloween. Um, sometimes I'll go a little gory. I don't mind it every once in a while, but it's not my thing overall. Not that it bothers me because I like some gory stuff. <laughs> Anybody else got true crime issues? Like, ah, can't stop watching cr true crime stuff. My husband walks in and goes, mm, do I need to worry? And I'm like, yes, yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go through now with the wet and wild matte top coat. I use two coats of this uh, when I use it. It's pretty good on one coat. It'll make it kind of a semi matte. Uh, but I do like it to be super matte when I do this stuff with regular polish. So two coats it is. And I think I'm going to have to toss this bottle. I can't remember who it was, but somebody mentioned um, when you get kind of flakies in it, it's probably coming off the top of the inside of the cap. I think this one's just gotten too many in it over time. So I think it's about done. And looky there. The good old thumb's going to make an appearance probably, not for the first time ever, but for the first time in a long time. So I wanted to show you these crystals. They're just acrylic ones. Um, I don't buy Swartzky crystals very often for myself because I film so many videos. They're very expensive. Um, but these, these are Aurora Borealis crystals. Uh, they're just, I got them off of Amazon or might have been a maniology clearance sale. I can't remember. They're just little acrylic crystals that look like leaves. I wish I'd had one more smaller size. If I'd had a smaller one on the tip, I would have liked that a lot better. It bugged me after it was done, but they're still really pretty in person. So if you don't have anything like that and you want to play with some gems, these would be good ones to check out. So it is, here it is, one year. It's been one year. I am so happy you guys are here. Like, you're going to be my OGs. My OGs one day. And I'm very grateful and happy you're here. I love sharing this stuff with you guys. I love talking to y'all in chat. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Bye-bye.